we've got a dirty secret that we've not been talking about for almost a year now. Almost is right. November will be a year. Yeah, I know. <laughs> this is too long. Ten months. And it's been eating at me. Listen, we're not the only people that have secrets like this. I'll just show them. Mm, please don't. This is our dirty little secret. We have been here since November. And this room looks the same. Oh, like we never film in here. We just try to pretend this room doesn't exist. The only thing I really do in here is I sit and play games in the evening or I edit the videos in here. We was gonna do it as a second living room. I don't think that's the way to go. I think we're going to make this an office. So I've got everything set up at the shop. Everything's going pretty good there. I've got that flowing. I think we're going to turn that into a storage building up there instead of any kind of office or anything like that. I'm going to get a lot of this junk out of here. I'm going to bring my desk down. We're going to set everything up in here. Maybe get a little love seat or something to put on this wall. But we've kept this secret too long. And I was like, Megan, if we don't talk about it and we don't acknowledge it, it's never going to change. Everybody has that one room in their house. The catch-all. When we moved in here, we made sure to set a little desk area up, file cabinet, a place that I could print out labels, order shirts, and Sean could edit videos. <laughs> and, but other than that, it's kind of been like, like he said, what we didn't use in our bedroom went in there. Toys that the kids don't play with anymore went in there. It's just kind of been the catch-all room, and it, it's, it's time to clear it out. I'm gonna clear it out. I'm gonna put everything in the old shop and I'm gonna bring my desk down and during the process of me doing that, I think you're gonna be making some cupcakes. No, Bubba and Chloe's gonna be making cupcakes. You and Sissy gonna make cupcakes? But right now, little sister is napping, so when she wakes up. So, I may or may not be procrastinating. Dip it. Good <laughs> Mm. Ooh, I was literally getting ready to start and then I looked at the bagels and I was like, a bagel and cream cheese and some jam would be excellent right now. But that's the way it works around here. Well, let's just admit it has been cleaned up a time or two and then boom, right back. I know you're messy. <gasps> Y'all, that's his room. That's your room, yours. Right. It's just one of them jobs that I have to push myself to get it done because if I don't push myself I'm not going to get it done and I really want to get it done. I can see that corner for the first time in eight or nine months, ten months. That's a bonus. I think little mama's going to have too much fun with this. What has mama done? Daddy, she's a princess. She's a little country girl. That's a nightgown. I used to wear them too. Oh, wow. What has she done to her? Wow. Where's your sunflowers, girl? <laughs> You're gonna have too much fun with this. She looks adorable. I never said she didn't, but y'all already playing dress up. Yes, I. Her legs are too short. She about tripped over. No, it's meant to be a full length gown. Hi. You bombarded me. Y'all, these two, I'm really feeling like I need a white and black striped shirt. I'm just saying. Believe it or not, I didn't procrastinate all day. I finally got something done, and I'm happy to. I am finally organized for once. Get her an L-shaped desk just the same right through here. Then we can sit and face each other. And I think it would look cool to have two L-shaped desks like that in here. This is one thing I like about where I got my desk sitting. Our TV in here is on a swing arm. So if I want to come in here in the evenings and sit down. But if I want to play a game in here at night time. Boom, I can sit at my desk and sit there and play a game. This. Apple messed this up. They left the spot for this out of this. So now you have to buy one of these so you can do this. This thing right here always breaks. This is like my third one. And these little things right here break off constantly. Especially me because I edit at the couch a lot. It's just something I like to do to sit back 
chill. Now, probably won't do that. This one will probably last me longer. <laughs> Who's ready to bake a cake? Yeah. How about, wait, not a cake. How about some cupcakes? This bump. This bump. Okay, what if we make this cake? You wanna make Dolly Parton's Southern style coconut cake? Yeah? Okay. We need this. We need a big old bowl. bowl. Are you ready? Yeah. Now, we got our cake mix. We're just gonna go right by the back of the box. You know, that's how we roll. We need our eggs. Egg. Egg. Cece, you hold this. Dump it in there. You know how it goes. Good job. Now toss it. Okay, you mixing it up without your eggs? All right, now wait. We gotta do the cup of milk. Pour this in. Oh. All right. Now, Cece, Mama's gonna let you do the butter. Yay, good job. Who's gonna do the eggs? Egg. Egg. Remember how to do it? Like this. One, two. Hey, good job. One, two. Can we do it? Yay, I don't think we got any shell in there. Another egg. Ready? One, two. Yay. Good job. All right, Cece's got one more egg. Hold on. Boom, boom. Egg. Good job, Minnow. Good job. And we mix. Oh. We won't put that in right. You got stomp your eggs. What? You want to mix? Mix it up. Sis, it's his turn, sis. <laughs> Would you like to start putting the cupcake? Look, now look. You take this and you put it inside there. There. They're going in. No, 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 no. That's not what we're doing. Well, we better be getting these out, I? Oh, no, that's not what we're doing. We're gonna get these in here, Sissa. Wait a minute. Yay! 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 Good job. Okay. Wait a minute. And then you're gonna pour it in the thing, okay? Mm. Oh my that's good. I got toasted coconut to go on top and some sprinkles. I done this part myself because it was, it turned into a battle. Next time I need two cupcake pans because you know, they're one and three and it's like, everybody wants to do their own thing but I didn't have enough stuff this time. So. This one. That smells wonderful. Dolly Parton, I could kiss you right now. Like for real, this is probably one of the best coconut cakes. I like your little boots. Wow, fancy. Got your cookie pants on, your pink rubber boots. It was an absolutely gorgeous day and like that, it turned to that again. I'll tell you what, we have had the grayest, dreariest summer here and it's I mean we're moving into fall sheesh like I just want like four straight days of sunshine that would make me really happy as y'all can tell my seasonal allergies have hit I don't get spring allergies I get fall allergies my eyes are itching out of my head 
I'm sneezing. My nose is itching. And yeah, the leaves are starting to fall off the trees. It's only 60 degrees this morning. It's chilly. That's why the kids got pants and socks and boots on. It's not chilly, but it's cool. What's happening? Is that tree bark? Is that tree bark? No. You want to go over? All right, you know what to do. Go up. I can't wait to get this tree moved, you guys. Ready to do this? Come on, Sisa. All right, give me a hand. That boot up there. Up, up, up. Them are some slick boots, huh? Got it? Oh my gosh, that's a lot of hard work. Come on, Booger Butt. Come on, Booger Butt. Right here. All right, ready? Tip up. Oh gosh. Oh gosh, that's hard on a short girl, ain't it? Y'all, this grass is driving me nuts up here. Me and Sean together might be able to lift the push mower and it's so thick, I think it would just bog it down, shut it down. And it stays damp up here. So we can't get the riding lawnmower up here until we get that enormous thing cut both sections of it and moved. At least we need to get a section here so we can get up in here. Is it cold? It's a little cold this morning, ain't it? Yeah, a little bit cool. I like your boots. Yeah, nice. You showing them your boots? Cool. Whoa, <laughs> he needs some help. Okay. Show us what you got. One, two, three. Go! You can do it. Uh, why not? No, you don't want to hold the camera. How did you get ketchup in your eyebrow? It's very sticky too. <laughs> Y'all, that child to be one and a half, she is a climber, a professional climber. Yay! Good job. That was fast. One, two, three, go! Good job. All right, Chloe, your turn. I think it's about your nap time. Are you zoned out? Yeah. <laughs> Are you ready? Is that red? Red crayon. Okay, you gonna slide? Oh, so you don't need my hand? All right, one, two, three, go! Good job. Show us how you jump jump. All right. Go, Cece, go, Cece, go. Go, Cece, go, Cece, go. You are fast to be so little. Don't do it, Bubba. Don't do it. Go! Oh, are you trying to... Whoa! Oh, my gosh! You're too strong. You're bouncing me everywhere. So this is what we're dealing with here in Kentucky. They'll say... It's not that dangerous. Look at this. I've told them for a month somebody was going to get hurt here. This gentleman. Well, she found it for you. And that car up I there I just collided I because said. this guardrail was sitting in the middle of the road and they couldn't pass. For a month I've been screaming until I was blue in the face. Somebody's going to get hurt right here. Yet they told me they was going to not do that till next year. This time next year, it's untelling how many people like them will end up in the ditch. But this is what we're dealing with here. Look at these two cars right here. And tell me this wasn't a dangerous situation that they said was safe. All right, I'm gonna break down what happened here and why I'm so upset about it. On neither side of this road here, even up here, it was nothing. No signs, no cones, no hazard. I'm letting them know, hey, there's a bad spot in the road here. It's breaking off, it's dangerous, it's narrow. They could have easily put a narrow road sign up there in that curve and at the beginning of this straight stretch, but there's no signs. Multiple times, I've witnessed near accidents right here. Not to mention, for years, this road has been breaking off. We had one truck hit this pole. There's another culvert buried down in here because the coal truck come down, run off the road before the guard, before they decided to put a guardrail up. He run off the road, 
and land it over in there. This road's always been breaking off. Then you can see right here, and it's broke off underneath here. There's new chunks that's come out, and it's like that all the way up through here. But here's what's happened with the accident. Self is gonna get run over out here. And they was flying, won't you slow down? Wasn't even from Kentucky. I don't know where that plate was from, but it wasn't one of ours. But here's what happened. I'm gonna get run over out here, y'all. But you can see right here, this is where the impact was. This guardrail, you can see where they hit it and pushed the guardrail over. But this guardrail was probably about two, three foot out into the road just leaning over. Cause I mean, you see there's nothing holding it in. But he started skidding off the road right here. And then right here's where he went off. Because of the guardrail, this spot was so narrow to pass, it was rough for two cars to pass there. You can see skid marks all up and down through here where people had locked their brakes up because of the near accidents, because of the narrow road. But they won't put no narrow road signs up. They won't put no signs up that says, hey, pavement's breaking down and putting some cones. They don't do nothing. It just stays like this. This is dangerous. I've watched people almost get in an accident. We'll get to it next year. Was it gonna take somebody to die right here before they come fix this road? I mean, we've had one bad accident so far. Now this guardrail's over, people's gonna start thinking they can get by here. And now that this guardrail's down, they'll either hit it right there or they'll jump it clear over into there. All the way up through there, this is breaking off underneath. But this, in their terms, is not a dangerous situation. Why don't you comment down below and tell me if you think that's dangerous. Does common sense tell you that's a dangerous situation? I wanna know. My husband forgot her anniversary today. I felt that I should take it upon myself to give him a little friendly reminder. I can't lie, I kinda forgot too. But I remember before he did. He's here. Happy anniversary! Happy anniversary! Ow. Happy anniversary! Ow. Anniversary! Ow. Happy anniversary! Happy anniversary! Happy anniversary! You forgot our anniversary. Uh, I went alone in that. You look like a smurf. You forgot our anniversary. I didn't do it alone. You didn't, I forgot to, but it's still your fault. You know what's your fault? Yeah, I'm okay with that. That was, <laughs> did that scare you? I reckon. Happy I thought I got shot. There you go. That's what you get. That's what you get, look at me, with your blue hair and blue ears. That's what you get for forgetting our anniversary. Turn to the other side, the other side. Oh my God. Dude, and this has stained my hands already. At least it wasn't pink because I almost chose pink. Daggone it. What is it about this shirt every time I have it on? Like <laughs> it gets stained. That's, oh my goodness. Your it's hair all is in blue. My... Your ear, a your little bit of your beard's blue. I remembered first. So the loser has to clean it up. take a second to thank the wooden veteran for this amazing gift they just give her family check that out a custom cutting board is that not awesome the hillbillies so what we've decided to do with this i don't know if y'all noticed we always kept our cutting board there so when we cook do the cooking videos from now we're gonna keep this one there because it says the hillbillies and that's awesome thank you y'all i hate pointing this camera at that stove it's yeah it's not the light it's the camera well it's the light is making the camera freak out because you can shine it at any other light in this house but that one over there you see that it's just flash i don't know if it's the bulb that we have in it or what but it just kind of freaks your eyeballs out be all the wooden veteran makes all kinds of cool stuff like this i'll put their link right here that way you can go to it no this is not a paid sponsorship or anything just they sent that out of the kindness of their heart i really like that do you think it's cool buddy <laughs> don't start with the mamma stuff mamma's busy i told you so when she's done she's gonna come get you and your turkey butt can go sit with mamma okay 
I think he tortures me on purpose with that because I tell him Mama smells like poop. Because he knows he gets to ride the side by side to her rails. What are you doing, Minnie? What? What are you going? Hands on your hips. But here is the thing. I know everybody's going to be like, you forgot your anniversary. Y'all, this is the crazy part. Little Mama forgot too, and if it wasn't for somebody on Facebook that seen a memory and, you know, wished us a happy anniversary through that, she wouldn't even remember. The truth is, we've never forgotten our anniversary, but I didn't even know what day of the week or date it was yesterday. Like, I've just been, I haven't been paying, my bills are paid, so it's like, it's not my time. Like, usually around the middle of the month, I'm like, what time, or what? what's the date? I gotta pay this, got, yeah. Here's the funny part about it all. For the last three weeks, we've been talking about what we're gonna do on our anniversary. We've been planning a trip to go to Dollywood for the day. Are you for real? Yeah, we've been planning to go to Dollywood for like three weeks and been talking, hey, we're gonna do this for our anniversary, our anniversary. And then our anniversary rolls around and we both just blinked out. But I got the brunt of it and she forgot too. Did you remember or was you reminded? I remembered. First. Listen, so was, was, on you. was you remembered? Was I remembered? Yes, I was remembered. Or was you reminded? I remembered, Sean, in Megan. my subconscious. Yeah, when somebody said happy anniversary. See, he didn't even believe that our anniversary was the 8th. We argued that. I'm like, Sean, he's like, it's the 15th. I'm like, that's the year we got married. So, yeah. That's why you got the powder bottle. She knew because one of you guys reminded her on Facebook. That's all it boils down to. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Plenty more to come. Plenty more Wild Chloe and Colton. We love y'all. And until the next time. Stay positive, guys. Stay country. And stay true to your roots. We love y'all. Bye. His cartoons are on. We can't interrupt him.